I personally love what Nigma's got. This is speed. This is that last pick pace that they needed. They've got the Dark Seer Synergy. ILTW Lycan is beast. We'll probably see the Armlet Echo oh, yeah. build that we saw throughout the DPC League. And Miracle Mid Morph. So they, they're counted as like the Void family. I mean, we've got two spirits as well. Earth Spirit and Void Spirit. So we're getting the Underlord Synergy going if anyone still plays that game. Uh, they do, they do. Uh, Kyle, I do. Kyle is an expert. I heard like I'm he's a master. One, yeah, he's a I'm top two. hundred player. Oh, is he really? Oh, he look is. at Dy, Gh, and Mind Control with these Ion shells. Oh, they're gonna chip away at him. They've got the first blood coming. He's putting his fairy fire, but it'll do very little. Mind Control gets that first blood spilled in the top lane, and that is a cracking start for your Darkseer. It shines on a position yeah. five uh, most like, of the time because you get so much damage. They have a good setup uh, with the cog minus armor. Exactly. Yeah. And I guess you've got that mild flexibility with a snap, if, like, like you say, if you do pick it up early on in the drafting stage. What's going on up top? Because PYW is TPing there. Clockwork, it looks like, he was trying to drag the wave, and DY, he's done. And he's dead. They do get the trade back onto GH, and Mind Control, oh, the time, time dilation, dilation that bashes, the time locks, they've got him all stuck up here, and Vici Gaming with a great rotation from that Earth Spirit, make DY sacrifice all worth it, well, bottom, old 11, chased back by RTW, but Kuroki can't really close the gap on him, the Doom is tanky and speedy with the phase boots up. I love that, the build on Poyoyo this game, uh, putting in a single point in time dilation roll, roll mid. mid they surprised him they catch him in the remnant the nuke damage not enough look at that morphling pops his one has the raindrops even turns for a nice little adaptive strike back into the mall bottom lane the cookie forward they'll catch the doom out at long last enigma grabbing that off lane kill he doesn't care too much about the Grimstroke rotation. If there's a Phantom, there is a one point in one because you have all that edgy. It just instantly dies pretty much. Oh, old 11. He's going to phase himself over Kuroki. The big bad wolf is coming, though. The shapeshift from RTW is going to slice through this doom after the ink swell ends. RTW should be able to finish this one up. There's no way PYW or DY can save him at all. He's even going to go diving a little bit deeper here, considering the move onto the Grim. Focus much more on their farming rate rather than the shove onto that top lane. And it's, a, it's kind of a hard lane to move into, right? Pushing Faceless Void out of a lane unless you're chipped away at him. They don't have a single silence. They have, uh, like, Lycan Morphin doesn't provide anything. Roll in. Yeah, they catch out DY with Hookshot, but there's so many heroes here ready and waiting for that initiation. GH gets turned on immediately. And I'll get that tower denied. Miracle grabs it. 1-1 one, one in terms of Cookie. the Wolf on the Wolves, the kisses are coming. Oh, he's, he's got Time Walk, he's going to TP out and there's no more stuns. That's Boy, all they know. got. He cancels, he wants to turn around and fight this. They've still got Chrono ready if they want to find the Big Bad Wolf, the Time Dilation's there. Maybe Kuro will be that final kill they'll find in that top lane. Try and get some bashes going, he's forced the wand out. And there's a snap fire dropping. What he wanted to do is put another point in the Phantom's Embrace, so you can't really kill that easily. Mm -hmm. And you can like stack the silences with him and the Earth Spirit. Still yet to see the combo, because they have not been using this Doom, they've not been using the Chronosphere so far. Yeah, it's been quite a, a slow, steady game from them until now they kick into action. On to GH's Clockwork, who tried to break the smoke. He gets his job done, maybe a turn here Miracle and Kuro. They won't be able to track back the on the Void, and the Doom is going to come out. Finding the back lines, Lycan is stuck down here with the Doom bring up with the Kisses. Back towards DY, allow Miracle to split them in half again, and they got the wall onto all 11. MC and RTW, even though they've Doomed up the Lycan, he just turns and hits them. There's no follow-up damage. They definitely need Void Spirit. Uh, they need the, the Spirit Vessel to have some more overtime damage. Again, they don't really have that great ability to jump, catch, and kill. They need Clockwork. Clockwork needs to be pretty much involved in every single kill. Uh, he needs to be active so far. He has been involved. There it is. In. There we go. He goes in. Oh, yeah. but, 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 then, but then what? Yeah, he's been stunned. They've got stuns. They've got slows. They will try with this wall and then jump in. Miracle finds PYW. But Vici Gaming, probably quite happy with that. I was going to ask you, is it worth Vici contesting that? I don't think they can. They don't, yeah, they don't even know it's happening. It's happening so bloody quickly. Well, it's ages now for Miracle. So the unkillable, unkilled Morphling now with a second life. So supports need to be careful. Even Void, uh, he's not building into BKB yet, going for SNY, a bit okay. of status resistance, uh, which is okay. Like, uh, Faces what if you tank up, if you survive, you don't even need a BKB. If you can get, like, Scotty Satanic, I yeah. think that's, that should be the build here uh, oh. against the Morphling, especially like an ulti. A bit prematurely. He's hungry. He sends the wolves up to scout out DY. The kisses are coming across, and Morphling, he's turned into the Earth Spirit, gets the catch with a roll. Beautifully done, and old 11. Uh, He's being hunted down. You can't catch him out. The hookshot does miss, but old 11. Echo Saber slapped down and the roll back in. Miracle just keeps it going. 
A double for your Morphling, and GH unfortunately couldn't quite. Well, face is void, he's got some other spells, and he's building some nice items like you were mentioning. SMY very close to completion. But a little bit behind the Morphling now as Miracle starts to create a bit of a gap that Faceless Void potentially might not be able to bridge. Uh, good hook shot. GH, he finds old 11, and off in this tight triangle, but they roll back in towards the clockwork. PYW, ink swelled up, and now the crow oh, for is. the back wall. It's onto four of them, DY being slain by Miracle. They do get the Doom onto the docks here on the back, as Kuro gets rolled on again. The bashes from Poyo and VG Gaming strike back, but Morphling is such a potent force, you can't contend with Miracle. A good vacuum back. I believe that hit on uh, four heroes on the uh, top of the wall. Uh, great way to disengage. And we can see the lack of damage inside a cruncher. Another like an ulti. Another one, yeah. He's going back onto the Void Spirit now. I mean, they're both Voids back behind their tier two. Pressuring high ground, moving up to tier threes. And might be even going up again. Poya Yo swelled. They want to get onto Miracle. 20 seconds until Aegis is reclaimed. They know there's no cooldown. That cooldowns are there. No Doom, no Chrono. The like, see the combo. They go on to Morphling, he's still got Aegis and he's gladly gonna give his first life as they get the Lycan out of there. Kuroki saves the day for RTW while Miracle rolled upon yet again, but he got the strength morph off. Looks like the Morphling should be alright to wait for him back as Kuro gets healed up by the mech, but PYW helps Ori. They need to get more. PYW needs to connect with his Oh, but he misses oh, the no, roll. Geez. He misses it, and now you've got this faceless void. Miracle Morphling jumping away. Old 11, has he got a Doom? Has he got anything to stun him? Miracle is just dancing around him. They need to use the Chronosphere. Next row, Sean may respawn in two minutes, so this is where they should try to take another fight. Face oh, Void yeah. going into Scotty. Smoke from Nygma. Oh, he misses out. The hook shot not on the mark from GH this time. And it looks like Void Sprint's going to get away from the Korgs, but the E-Blade Adaptive Strike, that shotgun picked up by Miracle, slays DY. Hood overall, plus uh, so Spell Amp on top of the shotgun. He's, he had a perfect game so far. 8, 0, and 0, which means that he stole every single kill that he was involved Secure. in. Which, yeah, which you want, what would you want to do with well, the morph? Something going the way of EG Gaming, and the Doom coming out as well. Old Eleven's beekeeping himself up, and they are starting to slap down into LTW. Ori picks up a double kill as Nigma stick around too long with a couple of heroes in the triangle and spreading the map too thin. And they try to smoke there again, vying for control around the Roche pit. What's the timer now? 10 seconds. And Nigma are the ones that look like they're in prime position to try and grab this. But Vici are also ready. They've scanned the pit. They know that something's not quite right. RTW, here we go. Shapeshift forward with a great hook shot. Catches two of them on the outskirts of the battle. PYW, almost, almost blown dead. up, but he survives. Old Levin and Poyo back in towards the, the Viking Wolf. They need the Chrono to catch him, and they will. The cookie, the, nothing will save him at all. And also in the back, the Doom and the catch. Mind control down to Old Eleven. All around the Roshan spawn. What a huge fight for Vici. Vici Gaming, they're not done. They're still they're chasing. Cool. They, they're going to get this one as well. Let's hear what's out. Still alive. I mean, Morphling in the back. He's hunting with targets, but unsuccessful in his attempt. They need to get something done out of this. Like, potentially get him one more kill. Or if they want to wait, just reset. Uh, get your ulties back up and... Uh, Go for that Roche fight. Uh, there's tier one tower mid, there's Roshan. And look at Miracle's positioning right now. Angling towards a free kill. He attempts it on the Void Spirit. And oh, he gets it. He gets it. The Atex streak demolished. Miracle, beautiful pick off. Now that's going to stop VG Gaming in their tracks. GH will gladly die for the cause. More 800 play. gold for Morphling on top of it. And now he's getting closer to the lane. He's going to get another kill here, maybe. DY on the run. Miracle in that faceless void mode again. Already used his time dilation. Time walk off to the side. It's uh, Cheese Ages plus a shard. Uh, I want to see who gets the shard. I would give it to Snapfire potentially or Clockwork for the memes. Darkshare actually holding it for now. I would love to see a gem. Uh, just gem getting picked up so they can smoke, uh, not necessarily invest into sentries. They're waiting for Roche. They're like they're waiting for this ages to expire, and it's gonna expire in the next 25 seconds. There's a hook shot in. They want to make the Roche the moment, and they get straight onto the faceless void. He's dead. Has a buyback ready if they want to pop it. Because all the going in deep, hunting with his doom onto mind control. They kill off Poyo, and mind control drops as well. But RTW turns the wolf, helping Miracle get that beyond good light streak. PYW, he's got a good magnetize going, but a double kill morphling just slaughtering them. VG Gaming is gone in five seconds. Can they time it? They can get away with a roller cost. He's turned into Earth Spirit. Waveform TPs, and he's out of there.
Nigma move it and they strike. They get three buybacks off the back of that as well. Still not able to take down that mid-tier one. 36 minutes in. They get some good vision down and they are here. Ready to make the jump onto whoever shows to push out that mid catapult wave. Oh, that's, it's ILTW. Shows under the ward. Do they go for this to the cost? They will. Blink stop doom. Old Eleven's in. They make the jump onto it in the chrono. Catches Nigma. Three heroes in the bubble. Pants down. Nigma. They're getting slaughtered there. Michael Clay has to buy back. RTW does it as well. Snap fire will return to the battlefield. The vacuum wall. MC. He's in on top of all of them. Miracle's in trouble though. He's lost the majority of his AG. He's had to shift straight to strength. Comes back in as the face is void as the roll across. Misses out on him. Uh, Spirit can't catch him. And BG Gaming come out with the double kill, the but Doom, the Doom is in trouble. Still alive, they're still taking him down. Miracle, he's on Poyo. The finish is no. low. Gets the godlike streak to continue. PYW is caught up there with a battery assault, and RTW is hunting for them. Bashes the Earth Spirit, gets caught up this in the nice little remnant, but he's one. dead. A hundred seconds. What he can do is okay, he actually has enough money. That's it. Hookshot misses. We heard the sound. But yes, it, that was the fight where we were expecting Nigma to, you know, take out these heroes that don't have buybacks. So really, it's a full minute still, Gary. Are they going to jump? Miracle's getting caught out here. They've got the refresher orb. Old Eleven with the soul bind. He got the doom. buyback. He's going to die. Not He's gone for a money. minute and a half, and they've caught LTW as well. Wolf stomped him. Lycan's an absolute goner. Oh, they did not respect that. What a play from Eleven. They, they could, like right now, they have four. Maybe they give it to. Faceless Void, because Faceless Void has enough mana to actually cast two Chrono Sphere. Before he was struggling as a hero, but now you build into these stats. You He's also, got it. You also get the stats. A DD rune on Morph. Does he want to do something with it? That, that's the question. Do you want to go out and play the map with this DD rune, look for a team fight, or do you want to sit back and farm a little bit more? Because you've got some, yeah, you've got some big items going out. Shape shifted. Already Normal going punch. in. Guess the wolves going. They've got a silence under the void spirit now, but he's Jeez. managed to get himself away and cheeses up. But the chrono, Poyo's back onto ILTW, finding the Lycan, and it looks like they'll stab into the back lines. The Morphling side the vice catches the Doombringer, but Poyo forces him back. Miracle, he's shoved into his own jungle. VG Gaming come out strong, catch the Miracle Morph and zap him with a Dagon. Poyo picks up that final touch on that kill, but that is a statement of intent from VG. Even more dooms if they uh, decide to hand him that refresher that Faceless Void is still holding on to. Next Roche may respawn, may, is gonna respawn in 50 seconds. Oh yeah. But they should poke, like they should try to poke something, uh, see what happens. Find a bonus kill here maybe. Kuro, they know he's in the tree line. Immediate bash from Poyo, and Ori picks up another kill for his second streak. GH and MC, they've hookshotted and vacuumed this Earth BKB Spirit. In a second. He's gonna BKB and attempt to roll, but it's cancelled out by GH. So Earth Spirit down and something go Enigma's way. You but the push is coming. But the only ones who are alive at the moment and they've got a pick up. <laughs> They're still gonna have to contend with this actual shove into their base though. Look at mid lane. They've got creeps coming down to tier three tower. They, they wall up, but there's the dive coming in. The two boys going to work, pairing up beautifully. And we're gonna catch out this dogs here inside the bubble. Old 11, hook shot it up, but GH dead to rights under his own tier threes. Buybacks are available for Enigma. Everyone has a buyback. Yeah, an absolute delight in that Roche pit. And there are the buybacks just as you expected. Rocket Flare is gonna try and scout out VG has been very stable in terms of decision-making experience team, so they know how to win a game. Oh. Like, they, they love to play these type of games. The Void Spirit illusions. Lycan's gonna try and kill off one. Morphling takes down the other. And they are in this Roche pit. He already used Manta. Miracle. In comes Poyo. Inkswell time dilation, but doesn't catch Morphling out. Miracle too quick on the fingers. While Ori, oh, he's in, he's out. He's trying to shake it. And do bring up inside some oh, multiple cogs. cogs. He's trapped. Double cogs, he can't move anywhere. The full staff out and the wall back in. Uh, there's a Doom though, finding my controllers. Miracle's blown up by the Void Spirit. Instant buyback. He does have to buyback, doesn't he? I mean, Nigma, they're struggling in this one. The Doom is too strong with that. Doom, available. 
again. That looks like it's done for as Nigma. They lose the clock and docks here with no buybacks on them. It's a 40k gold lead That's for huge. Team VG Gaming. 40 kills, 42k net worth lead now. Poyo grabs up that Roshan Aegis. What's he got? Refresher shard? Yeah. Octarine core plus spell prism. Dagon is 12 second cooldown. With How all that damage? spell amp. 800 damage? It's 800, it's uh, more than a thousand. Thousand oh. 40 with all the spell amp that he's got. That's nuts. I'm doing math, Gary, while I'm casting. I'm actually not gonna, I just clicked the alt button, but <laughs> won't pretend that I'm doing it. I saw you, I saw you doing it. There's the catch on GH. Clockwork gone for 80 seconds, and they're just gonna go and clean up the entirety of Nigma now, it looks like. Fountain dive time for VG Gaming with a two man chrono. They'll take on Dagon, that's Double. the combo. Inside, but aside the voice, a hex from Nigma, but a turnaround coming in. RTW and Miracle can't stand their ground. Poyo is too strong at this point. One hero remains for Nigma. You know what I always say, Gary, when it's time to call it. It's time to call it. It really is, because they have no business whatsoever in this game. Last man standing is that Morphling right now. And he can't defend against the five members of Ichi Gaming, hammering away at your tier four towers and soon to be your throne. Game one. I mean, it was it was close. It was competitive it was for the first, what, 25, 30 minutes. It looked like Nigma might just have had it. But VG Gaming hold out. And there we have it. Game one in the books. Yeah, Nigma with uh, Lycan as a second core. Uh, it was kind of a carry, you know, but Morphling was the real carry in this game. Now that Vici have a late game carry, that, that coefficient gets higher. Yeah. You need to win more team fights because they cannot they cannot push particularly quickly on Nigma. They, no one hits towers. Nobody. One of the strongest offlaners right now for sure, but it just doesn't feel as strong when you're playing into Ancient Apparition. Ooh. GH. Yeah, with DY already having a bit of a scrap in that jungle. And Dark Willow always going to come out the victor in that battle, especially with Mind Control's assistance. First Blood very early spillage there, as Vici Gaming lose out their support in the safe lane. But so far, hasn't hasn't really fed away too much more. You know, this threatening threatening lane from Nigma actually going to get onto the Spectre now with the chain stuns, but pops the one and a little fairy fire to keep the Spectre alive. Interesting build from GH. I've seen different builds. I've seen him going for Max Shadow Realm. Which oh, old 11. Cold Feet snaps on him. He turns. All oh, the double edge. Trades his life out, but killing that Ursa off. Beautifully done. This is a killer lane for Vici Gaming. No, you're Gary. reading my mind. That, that's, that's something I've been saying for ages. Yeah, just wait for DY to die. Come and refill the bottle. And thank the position five. Spam out some salves and bottle refills. Oh, they do get a catch on Tiny. There's the coil with a GH rotation. Picking off Ori. And that's Miracle hitting level six. I always say about 11, either he is the best player in the team or like it looks like the worst one and no in between. But yeah, he's, he's become much more stable, you say, as of late. As we gather up in towards the rune spawn time, GH takes the haste and stunning DY caught up in the Bramble Maze with a combo. Tiny's in the toss. It does catch Miracle, but he's jumped forward to his orb. Now caught out as the Eden Shot zaps him down and DY taken out by the Shadow Realm. But they've got Tiny and Shadow Shaman both here on the GH Dark Willow, but Maraska gonna haste and run away. Hold 11, very close to death. Pretty standard stuff yeah. from the centaurs these days. Just want to be able to tank up, not necessarily get an early blink there, because they're mid laner. Oh, there's the it's combo. A tiny. Combos up the ancient apparition, kills the courier with his nice little tree toss back towards it. Again, they have multiple heroes that benefit from Inkswell. You have Tiny, one of the best ones. He goes in, especially with the blink dagger. And then um, I'm a big fan of Tiny's not upgrading the boots instead of just rushing the blink dagger. Miracle. Hail all the way. He saw that one coming. Oh, that was not quick enough from PYW. And GH still going to get caught here, but he gets the Bedlam out and the Shadow Realm damage. PYW, he's going to get Miracle caught by the up. Miracle backstab. The coil hits two mana. Double kill for Miracle, while Ori gets away from the cold feet in the Vortex. GH trades himself, but this time two kills gathered up by Miracle. Gary, it was to get faster from the bottom lane to the mid lane with that stampede, <laughs> efficiency. He also runs away. The macro play. Yeah, bottom lane, AA ulti flying. Where's the 
follow up. They're Smoke. looking for Looks it. Looks pretty dead. Boy, oh. Oh. Beautiful setup. Good call across. There it is. Slayer Spectre. Unexpected. As VG Gaming, like you said, had moved from bot back to mid and Enigma, they find their opening. He's too fine. tanky. That Hood of Defiance, maybe they got surprised. You know, didn't click on a hero. I see certain players doing it. But uh, this very shrinker, though, they're going to have another Tombow pretty soon. Yeah, that's the big item you get on Tiny. That extra bit of a burst sometimes that you need. The GH. GH. Thanks, well. In comes the combo. Blows up the Dark Willow. And another objective secured by Vici Gaming. That's a systematic maneuver that we've been expecting from them. Tower to tower. Every single time there's Shadow Shaman wards up, they rotate to one of the lanes. And right, Snappy forward. They know RTW is nearby. They're going to catch him without his range. He's tossed back into DY. PY. RTW going to turn and try and fight with the arena with a spear and the ice blast coming in. They're going to take down Ori here with a nice blast and slay him. Miracle with a coil catching the Centaur too. The Hex though. PYW and Poyo. Get into the back lines for the Ancient Apparition. The Soul Binds also going to connect onto the puck in the Mars. But PYW's down and Poyo left here without any backup. Nigma surround the Spectre. Now there's no retreat. RTW, he was the one that was initiated on, gets a double kill. Or oh, DY, he's fine. TP's home successfully. It's because without the hood, he wouldn't be tanky enough. And Miracle, he is once again having a blast. Both of the mid laners pretty much, uh, but this time around, Miracle having a better time. I don't think you get this kill. The Dark Willow, does she have ulti? She does, but still respecting the damage that he can tank, plus also the TP rotation. Yeah. Tiny is Oh, in. look at that. Straight on to Kuro, but you said it. The counter's there. He's got the fluffy hat. hat. The fluffy hat for AA. As PYW down in the river, isolated, taken out quickly by Nigma, who moved forward aggressively. Great spear back. Mind control finds the pick, and they'll ice blast him into oblivion. A double for Miracle, and they want old 11 now as well, apparently. Tanky sent to be damned. I mean, DY is being dived by the butt. Old 11 in the cold feet snap, and DY down. A triple for Miracle, and GH picks up the fourth. Oh, absolutely, and now they've got this Miracle Puck with Blink Dagger. It's big, like it's Puck with a Blink Dagger, it's Ursa with a Hood and a Diffusal Blade in a go 200 time. gold. It's time to keep Just keep on running at them. PYW out on his lonesome in the middle of the trees there, and a good spear onto the Tiny. The combos just keep flowing for Nigma. One after the other, they get pick off after pick off, and Vici Gaming starting to crumble. DY in the Ice Vortex, slow down, Miracle gets the coil, solo onto Grim, take him out. A lot of drawing on a minimap. Oh no! Of, Mind control suggesting another fluffy hat for Kuro. He's How holding on to got? three right now. He's got three fluffy hats. Oh, he's the Ushanka King right there as they get the catch on to Centaur. He's popped his hood, Vanguard up. Oh, he's just destroyed by all the magic damage. Yeah, they don't really rely on any of the cooldowns, so they can keep fighting all the time, and that's exactly what they're doing. And soon you're going to have this BKB on MC. He's got Blink Dagger already, so whenever he sees a target, he can jump an arena. While Ori, man a man of burn. Yeah, this Ursa is going wild on him. The Tiny's not going to last long. He's going to try and blink away. He's pretty speedy. Pops his one. But in comes that Blink Arena we were just mentioning. Mind Control closes the door on the Tiny. Very clean game from Nigma. Go to Shopkeeper. I know you have all these shiny items. Bro, do you have time? We need to buy some time. Do, do, do you have a loan, you know, any kind of credit system? Can I borrow a rapier? No, no, no. I'm going to save up for it little by little. Interesting positioning from Tiny right now, though. It looks like he's scouting out. Creep skipping. Or is it that, just creep skipping? That's it. Blast it and uh, get the hell out of there. Yeah, cut that wave. TP's coming back from Miracle, though. Oh, he's hungry for this. Mind Control's also arriving. There's the Arena Coil, catches the Tiny out, and DY, he can't TP out. The Soulbind's there, but what, what are you going to do? It's a Grim Stroke. You're just dead to rise. MC comes out with a double. Beautiful setup. Yet Nick again. Bob, they were so ready for it. Like, exact moment when he shows up, and I believe he's then, also going for E on this, yeah, which I like really it. like. So he's going to be able to get his spell off most likely gonna get uh, procced by Spectre in a team fight. Maybe maybe Spectre doesn't have enough damage to actually go all oh, crash fall. Find mind control, they toss the horn illusion. Great terrorize. Shackles got cancelled out though. The soul bite comes in with a big blink stomp. Mind control's taken down and it looks like Nigma still wanting to turn and fight around Poyo. So no man there, but he just walks straight through them. No life. Miracle beyond godlike and they want PYW as a cherry on top of this team fight. You kill the Mars, we'll kill the rest of you. Who's the third one? 
corner as he's out there. Grimstroke barely TPing home, but Tiny might not have the same luxury. He's being coil snapped and frozen in the cold feet. Down you go, a triple for Miracle. Miracle is just completely popping off in this game as he was in the previous series. 10k lead now for Nigma with all those items you mentioned coming into them. And that next Roshan just under three minutes away from fast spawn. But a BKB from the Mars, and RTW's aggressive jump to high ground. Oh, that DY nearly just dies, and a terrorize on the two of them. GH is going to come in with the help of the coil, the fear of them up, the tiny dead, and the centaur looking pretty screwed as well. Unstoppable Ursa back onto the Spectre with a bedlam. What's the control looking like, though, from Nigma is a spear, and a clear up from GH. Four heroes obliterated. Like, this is, I don't think, uh, like, if you scroll through data, I don't think you would be able to see Hood Ursa as the first item yeah. pretty much ever. I think you're right. So we used to see it a little bit on, like, Phantom Lancer, right? You know, PL, sure, PL. PL Hood makes sense, but Ursa, yeah, not really something that, that we come across too often. Hello, two-man stop, and then the Stampede to run away because they got the arena down. Or he's blinked in aggressively looking for Miracle. The punt's going to manage to win. Rift off to the side, but not far they enough. They got him. GH comes in with a bedlam, though. Needs to turn it back on the Tiny, finish him up with mind control, PYW on RTW and VG Gaming hold their high ground to get two massive core kills. Mind control might even be the third one they grab. He's stuck down here and old 11 tracking back on the Mars. It's a good ice blast coming in, but I think MC is not going to manage to get up the staircase. Turned on and zapped by PYW while Kuro hiding, TPing, no. stomp cancels it. Ancient apparition done for. Enigma, they got what they came for. They killed the melee barracks, the range barracks at 20 HP. And it looks like we do have the big circle drawn around the Roshan, which is just under a minute from spawning. Everybody going to start vying for that positioning around the Radiant Triangle, around that top rune spot. GH walking in, wanted to try and grab the bounty rune. Is he going to terrorize back onto all the Levin? Curse Crown already used up, self yules to try and save himself and buy a bit of time as Mind Control. He arrives. Arena in, catching Tiny. They're going to keep down the buyback from Willow. Ice Blast lands onto Ori and Poyo kind of stuck in the arena too, but they've got the Stampede Coil. Catches the Spectre. They want to focus down Poyo real bad. Spectre's gone. No buyback on her either. Nice spell casting there from Nygma. Did they find not overlapping catch? spells. They found PYW. He's oh, the king of the hill. He's, is he the king? I don't know. He looks like the Joker to me. He's a jester stuck up there. Yeah, great spell casting uh, using Arena and AA Blast were on point. Once again, hitting on the multiple heroes. Can't region like. And no buybacks. And you've got Miracle BKB at this point. Coming up to high ground. Oh, that blink. Tiny slips away, but uh, DY unfortunately doesn't have that ability. Tiny gonna get Yule's dumb. A Serpent Order thrown in onto them, but that Tiny demolished by them. And again, no buybacks for VG Gaming. So their entire base is open season for Nigma to pick off these buildings. Just some good stuff. He's been involved in 29 out of 35 kills. I think everyone is pretty happy seeing Miracle back on the mid lane. Shadow Shaman with a BKB plus lens, he can go in and if he does not get bashed by Ursa, it's not gonna stop. So they need to execute, like this could potentially be a big turnaround for VG Gaming if they get there on time, which they won't. It's too slow. They can't get there and they're scouted out by the wards. Attempt to terrorize and look at that. The BKB is popped out by PYW only to die to the right clicks of the puck. Miracle has the reveal to take down DUI too. Both supports gone for around a minute. Not going to bother defending bottom tier two. Far too difficult in that real hilly terrain for VG Gaming. So instead, opting to push out top, hold mid, and defend with everything they've got down at bottom. They start with the Inkswell stop. Old 11 just trying to chip away at ILTW, put the fear into Nigma so they don't straight push high ground. But look at MC. He jumps up there. He whacks back the tiny, and now LTW is in onto DY. Toss back the Ursa, but this. That's Teddy Bear. He's not messing around now. They expect a horn, but they lost the PYW Shadow no Shaman. No buyback on Both it. Both supports are gone. Terrorize coming into the Spectre Illusions. I don't think they caught the real one. Miracle's going to have to jaunt away to the orb. Tiny wants it with a Centaur Blink, but he gets the cheese off. Survives the onslaught, and now the arena bashing up onto that tiny. RTW clears them up. This might be it, and they call it. They actually call it. Uh, one thing that I noticed, especially for IG in the Chinese scene, they call GG. They understand, like, we can't win this game. What's uh, complete done? dominance by Team Nigma in the second game. They were all over the place, like, not relying on the cooldowns whatsoever to take the fights. Puck, great itemization coming out from him.